This is a bunker buster. And this is also a bunker buster. But this one is a more powerful bunker buster. But what are they designed to destroy? The short answer is simply bunkers. Bunkers are mostly military fortified underground facilities that house command centers, ammunition depots, and research laboratories that are either strategically important or necessary for waging a war. These underground military installations can withstand conventional and nuclear weapons attacks and are difficult to locate and strike because they are underground. Unfortunately, the United States and a few other countries developed bunker buster weapons capable of penetrating these fortified targets buried deep underground. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the most powerful bunker busters that have been declassified and made available to the public. GBU-57AB, or Massive Ordnance Penetrator. With a weight of 30,000 pounds, this is the largest declassified bunker buster bomb in the US arsenal. It is designed to go deeper than any nuclear bunker buster and destroy 25% of the world's deeply buried underground targets. It is designed to penetrate up to 200 feet of reinforced underground concrete before exploding making it capable of destroying the heavily fortified underground bunkers and tunnel networks built by Iran and North Korea to protect their weapons. The massive Ordnance Penetrator is about 20.5 feet long and 2.6 feet in diameter. The bomb can carry over 5,300 pounds of explosive material and can deliver more than 10 times the explosive power of its predecessor, the BLU-109. The bomb is only intended to be carried aboard B-2, B-21 and B-52 bombers and deployed at high altitudes. It is the only declassified bomb known to be capable of penetrating more than 200 feet, and with the bomb already deployed in the US Air Force, the US is capable of destroying most of the deepest targets around the world. GBU-28 this 5,000-pound laser-guided bunker buster bomb holds the record for being the fastest developed and deployed bomb in the U.S. arsenal. The bomb was designed, manufactured, and deployed in less than three weeks due to an urgent need during Operation Desert Storm to penetrate hardened Iraqi command posts located deep underground. With only two bombs dropped, Saddam Hussein had no choice but to sit at the negotiating table for a ceasefire. The 5,000-pound bomb contains 630 pounds of high explosives, and according to tests conducted at the Tonopah test range in Nevada revealed that it was capable of penetrating over 165 feet of earth ground and 16 feet of solid concrete. In one test, a test bomb attached to a missile sled smashed through 22 feet of reinforced concrete while retaining enough kinetic energy to travel a mile downrange. The bomb uses a laser designator to guide itself to the spot of laser light reflected on the target. When the bomb lands, a short delay time fuse activates, triggering detonation when the bomb has penetrated deeply enough to completely destroy its target. The bomb can be delivered by the B-2 Spirit, F-15 Strike Eagle, or F-111 Aardvark. B-6111 The B-6111 is one of several variants of the B-61 nuclear bomb family, which has been in use by the United States military since the 1960s. The B-6111 is a gravity nuclear bunker buster bomb that can penetrate up to 20 feet of reinforced concrete. The bomb can be dropped from an aircraft and is designed to penetrate the ground before detonating making it highly effective against deeply buried targets such as hardened bunkers and underground facilities. The bomb is guided by an inertial navigation system and can be delivered by a variety of aircraft, including the stealth bomber B-2 Spirit and the fighter jet F-15E Strike Eagle. It has a variable yield that can be adjusted to provide a lower yield for tactical applications or a higher yield for strategic applications. One. 
BLU-109. The BLU-109 is a 2,000-pound hard-target penetrator bomb designed to penetrate reinforced concrete structures of up to 6 feet in order to destroy bunkers and aircraft shelters. The bomb has a steel casing about 1 inch thick and is filled with 530 pounds of explosives. It has a delayed action tail fuse that allows it to explode after penetrating. The bomb can be delivered by a variety of aircraft, including the F-15V Strike Eagle fighter jet, and is frequently used in conjunction with laser guidance systems for increased accuracy. The bomb entered service in 1985 and was deployed in a number of conflicts, including the Gulf War and the Afghan War. BLU-116 The BLU-116 is a 2,000-pound hard-target penetrator bomb designed to destroy bunkers and aircraft shelters by penetrating reinforced concrete structures up to 12 feet thick. The BLU-116 has the same shape, size, and weight as the BLU-109 penetration bomb, but it has twice the penetration effect. The BLU-116 is made up of a light outer shell that surrounds a dense, heavy metal penetrator core. Because of its shape and size, the BLU-116 could be used by unmodified existing aircraft and bomb guidance units like the GPS-guided GBU-31 Joint Direct Attack Munition and the GBU-24 Parveway 3 Laser Guided Bomb. BETAB-500 Concrete Piercing Bomb The BETAB-500 Concrete Piercing Bomb is a Russian 1,100-pound bomb designed to destroy reinforced concrete structures, aircraft and military equipment shelters, runways, airfields, highways, and warships. It penetrates reinforced concrete floors up to 4 feet thick and soil up to 12 feet thick. During the Syrian Civil War, the Russian military used it numerous times. The first use of this bomb in an urban environment appears to have occurred in 2016 in the eastern part of Aleppo. Five, four, three, two, one, operate.